Balsamic chicken stir fry. Family meal. I bet you ask yourself that question many a time. What should I do tonight? Stir fry Italian style, how's that? One of my favorite cuisines besides the Italian is the Chinese. So I kind of borrowed the idea and made it Italian. Here we have some chicken strips. We are going to season them. And what's good about this, it's a one pan meal, all in one pan, in and out of the pan will do. Let's put some nice oil here, nice and hot. We wanna fry the chicken. Let's do that. So we want the chicken to caramelize quick, high temperature sear it, and then we'll cook everything else and we'll add the chicken at the end. So what is the sauce? Well, I use a little bit of chicken stock, some honey, balsamic vinegar. Yeah, okay, let me... and some cornstarch. So it depends on how thick you like the sauce, on how much cornstarch you put, but it's best if you mix it first in the sauce, just like that, and let it dissolve. So I like my stir fry spicy. I'm gonna put a little bit of peroncino on the chicken, and then I'm gonna put some later on with the sauce. Let's get the vegetables ready and the broccoli. Broccoli is always great for a stir fry. And I have some prepped, but I wanna make sure that you use every piece of it. And to the stem, I look at it, you know, what's hard, what's soft, and then I peel what's hard. And you just cut it into small pieces, little matchsticks. Just like that, little matchsticks. So let's check the chicken here. I think it's almost there. We don't want to overcook it. So let's put in the vegetables. Mushrooms. The peppers the broccoli, and I'm gonna season that with salt. And again, a little peperoncino. Give that a stir. And I am going to cover it. Let me just clean up and then we'll finish the dish. That's quick, not even half an hour. Benvenuti in my little library. And here is where you and I share information. And it is my pleasure. So here I have from Richard. Are there any recipes that have been passed down through the generations in your family? Absolutely. For example, the guazzetto, which is the long cooking process of different meats. Polenta, polenta is made a certain way and you gotta cook it. Bean soup, in our region, Instead of the pasta, we had sauerkraut. And so getting into my little world of my family and my region, it's the source of many of my recipes and that continues to be. So keep that tradition going and keep on cooking. Love your questions and keep on writing. So I'm gonna cut the scallions and the white part I'm gonna put in first because I want it to cook. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to use the green part, but that I use almost like parsley for decoration at the end. And I kind of like the freshness that green scallion like this brings to a dish. Okay. This looks like it's at the perfect timing. So now we can add the chicken right in. And I'll add the chicken with all its juices, just like that. 
and I will add the sauce. Okay, as you can see, the sauce is densening and it's coating and you don't want to overcook or over sauce it. So I'm looking at it, I'm examining it. Do I want some more balsamic? Do I like the color? Do I like the intensity? I like it as it is, the recipe as it is, but you certainly could add a little bit of more of balsamic if you want. And I'm gonna shut the heat off, cover it, keep it warm. I'm gonna get the rice and it's time to eat. So let's go on. Janice, Janice wants to know, what is the biggest mistake that I made in the kitchen and that I've learned from the most? Salt is the biggest one. Everybody kind of gets into that mistake, adding too much salt or not adding salt. An easy way to control salt is if you have a recipe, you take the salt and you put it in a little bowl and you put it right next to when you're cooking. That's the amount suggested by the recipe. Always leave a little bit of salt and that's for the correction purposes. You taste, and if you have enough, you stop. That's the best that I can recommend, but mistakes happens to all of us. Good question, good question. Here we are, family style. The stir fry and a big bowl of rice, just plain cooked, and we're all ready. And let them help themselves. So let me, I'll serve one for you. Just, but you put it on the table, with a spoon and some rice, and this is it. You've got your meal. Now, Lydia, how about a little bit, Lydia? Absolutely, just like that. And Lydia likes a little bit of rice with hers right away. Mm-hmm, just like that. Let me taste. Mm. Delicious, good, spicy. You know what's different about this one? The acidity and the complexity of the balsamic vinegar. It's really Italian stir fry. Make it for your family, they'll love it.